Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and we're in Space Engineers. Today I'm going to tell you the truth about turbines, the optimum height and distance from each other and also the effect altitude has on turbines, if any. And there's a very surprising discovery you won't want to miss. This could change how you use turbines forever. Seriously, let's go. This video was requested by a subscriber called Sherry B. Thanks, Sherry. If you have any requests, just let me know straight after you like the video. Wink, wink. First, let's establish the optimum height from the ground. Now, I googled this to test if my results are the same as what, the, what was commonly quoted on the internet, and they're not. Here I have 10 turbines placed at different heights, starting with the one block. Now, note you always have to have one block in the ground to be able to place a turbine. So the absolute minimum is one. All the way up to right at the end here, we have 10 blocks. Now these turbines are all placed 15 blocks apart, so I know they're not having an impact on each other, but we'll come to more of that in just a second. Let's start with the first one. What do we get from a one block high turbine? And let's compare that to the other ones. So the first wind turbine, number one, we can see the wind clearance is poor, obviously, and then the max output is 228. Number two, still poor, but the max output's gone up to 233, 264, 295, 327, and so on. So then number seven. So this is seven blocks off the ground. That's including the block that's in the ground. That's 391. Then we get to eight blocks high. Now, this is the one that people commonly say is the optimum height. And we can see we've got an output of 424. Let's go to nine blocks. Ooh, four, five, seven. What about 10 blocks? 10 blocks is the same as nine blocks. So there's no gain from having 10 blocks. It looks like the optimal height is nine blocks, including the block that is touching the ground. Now you can probably see at the end there, I have another one which is ridiculously high. That's 30 blocks off the ground. Does the altitude make any difference at this point? Let's just compare it to the 9, which you know is the optimum at the minute. It's 457.14. The one that's 30 blocks high is 4.57.14. It's exactly the same. So altitude isn't coming into play there, or is it just the fact that they're both connected to the same height of ground? Let's test that by going up there. Let's see what the efficiency is on this one. Remember, it was 457. This one's 417, but this is quite a bit higher than the ones all the way down there. So the efficiency is actually decreasing as the altitude increases. What about the turbine behind it there? Physically, it's not that much higher than this one, but the ground is that bit higher. So let's have a look at the difference between that. This one was 417.3. 417.3. So it has decreased slightly. Let's test a bit higher. 405, so it's going down again. So it looks like it's the height of the terrain that it's placed on that affects the efficiency. So what distance apart do they need to be to keep their maximum output but be as close together as possible? So here's a selection of turbines. Two apart, three, four, five, six and all the way up to eight blocks apart now we're looking for the one that reads the highest reading turbine two isn't as good because it has the other turbine on the next side but then three starting to get a little bit better a little bit better up to seven blocks apart four four eight then eight blocks apart there's our magic number four five seven point one four so we've established that they need to be nine blocks from the ground, including the one on the ground. And ideally, they need to be eight blocks apart. Now, before you disappear, there is an important discovery coming up that I'd like you to see. So this altitude business and the height above the ground has made me think, and I wanted to do a little test. Here's a turbine, which effectively is one block above the ground. So that should be the poor condition and it will be down in the 300s the same as the very first one that we looked at now what i've actually done here is i've dug a hole 
way down and place the first block at the bottom of the hole and the turbine at the top. What do you think the reading's going to be? It's 457.14 and it's the optimal height. So that turbine there is optimally placed. So in terms of setting up turbines in the future and you're on a server or you have NPCs that might start shooting things down and making a mess, what about doing this? So in summary, turbine efficiency is connected to the distance the turbine is from the block that is connected to the ground. It needs to be nine or more and they need to be eight blocks apart. As one final test, how about we place that turbine below ground? There we are straight away. We can see that the turbine is not very happy. It'll be because these voxels are the same as having another turbine too close to them. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Please leave a like if you have. Visit my channel and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. See you again soon. Bye-bye.